started clapping till I almost got my fat ass up to the microphone. I appreciate you. Bunch of dicks. Hey, give a round of applause for my pal Brad Williams. Come on, y'all. He's awesome. I love Brad. I go drinking with him now, man. Don't go fucking drinking with Brad Williams. He gets drunk, gets a little salty. He, uh, last night at the bar, he had uh, like 12 thimbles of whiskey and he was all fucked up. Gets touchy. I was like, Brad, you know you're my favorite fucking midget. And he's like, man, stop calling me midget. It's little people. And I'm like, no, that's too vague. A, a little people could be a kid or a midget, or a Filipino. I mean, <laughs> he gets mad. He goes, well, then call me a dwarf. No, you're not in the direct possession of a battle axe. I'm not gonna call you a fucking dwarf. If you're a dwarf, I'm a dragon. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Then he said the word midget was as offensive as the word nigger is. And I'm like, really, Brad? There wasn't 400 years of slavery of midgets. Okay, we, we didn't have y'all picking cotton on your tippy toes. I told him I've had it up to here with his ass about that shit. It's like, he's awesome. This is my third time in Canada. First time I was here, I was in Winnipeg in February. Fuck me. <laughs> It was so goddamn, it was negative 42 degrees. Fuck, that's too cold. I'd never been that cold before. It's like, let's leave, come on, y'all. They had a record for snowfall. They had 38 inches of snow in 12 hours. Holy shit. I'm from the south. The only snow we get comes up from Columbia. You don't measure that shit in inches. <laughs> so I walked outside eating a carrot. I about got my eyes poked out. People thinking I was Frosty the fucking snowman. I'm like, Jesus. I got hit on by a hooker when I was in Winnipeg. That's the heart of an entrepreneur right there. You know what I'm saying? If you're selling pussy when it's negative 42 degrees, bitch, you need the money, okay? I can love you. She came up to me, freeze her ass, like, you want a blow job? Not from your chattering ass, I don't fuck, no. You can do it, my dick look like a Tic Tac. I ain't got no time. I might see you in July, but... Uh... I got a six inch dick, just medium, it's a legit measure. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. I know girls, it's weird for you to hear a guy say he's only got a medium dick because you've been conditioned that you want the biggest dick possible. Mm. <laughs> Probably not. See girls, big old dicks are like a CD player in a Dodge Neon. It sounds good, but it ain't. I mean, girls, you've all had a cock way too big for you, right? You know, especially y'all. Okay, all right. <laughs> Lots of dick. All right. Girls, you've all had a cock way too big for you, right? Let's go back to that night, shall we? Did that guy go down on you for an hour to get that pussy ready for that monster cock? I'll take that as a no, okay? All right. <laughs> did, he, did he spoon feed it into your pussy meat? All quiet and saying sweet things while he did it? Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Breathe in. <sighs> Just nine more inches. No, he didn't do that, did he? He fucking spit slapped it. Puh. And then punched you in the fucking liver, didn't he? <laughs> Knocked you right in the goddamn liver. Got you burping weird for fucking a month and a half. You're taking Tums six, seven times a day. Telling your girlfriends, I think you moved my gallbladder. I can't eat fried food no more. <laughs> Next day, your pussy looks like a stroke victim. <laughs> You're sitting on bags of frozen peas and carrots trying to get your pussy right with Jesus. Mercy. That's what big dicks will do. And they fuck pussies up. Girls, you all went to high school with a girl who had a cute little, little paper cut pussy. Little paper cut giner, but yay big. 
wasn't even full growed yet, needed to be watered and left out in the sun to blossom like a lily. <laughs> then she goes to university and three rap concerts and that pussy looks like a washed wallet. I'll beat the shit. <laughs> looks like an 18-wheeler tire. I'll blown the fuck out. <laughs> girls, you got to be careful because sometimes them dicks are so big, they got an elbow in them. Big old crooked dick. Any of you bitches ever got boomerang fucked? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing? Okay. If you don't know what boomerang fucking is, that's where your head's this way. His is facing this way. Then he puts that question mark dick of his up towards your jainer me and gives it the fucking twist. <laughs> That'll only fuck up one of your lips, bitch. You lose your symmetry. You got one nice lip, and the other one's all heavy, 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 heavy. <laughs> Looks like you ever fed a horse a sugar cube? You know that top lip goes looking for it? <laughs> it's the same with pussy. It's the same with pussy. Now, before I hear any shit from you big dick sons of bitches in here about my 12 inches of cock, listen up, fuck sticks. I talked to eight urologists and 12 gynecologists. The average vagina depth is anywhere from six and a half to seven inches deep. So congratulations on your five inches of dry dick. <laughs> Fuck you. That make you feel good knowing you got more dick dry than most Asian men will ever have wet? That's not nice. It's not nice. So girls, at six inches, I might not knock the bottom out of it but I got 400 pounds pushing. I'm gonna fuck them sides all up. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm getting in them biscuits. Bet your ass on that. I'll tsunami fuck you bitches. I'm a crazy man. You ain't never got tsunami fucked. <laughs> That's where I put my medium dick all the way in and slap my own ass and let you ride the wave. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm a freak, bitch. I've been sent here though to help young men. Listen up, you dumb fucks. We are living in the midst of a pussy renaissance. Never before in the history of mankind has Jainer been as well-maintained, accessible, finger-bangable, and fuckable as it is today. These are glorious times. Glorious times. Because it was not always this way, friends. Like, you're under 25. Did you even know pussy comes with hair on it? You have no fucking clue. Well, every guy that ate pussy before 1991 looks at every other guy that ate pussy before 1991 like we're Vietnam vets. <laughs> These guys look at me like, Ralphie, when was you in the shit? Well, from 86 to 91, I was in the Poontang Delta. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Ralphie. We were in the jungle with you, brother. We were in the jungle with you. You young dumb fucks. Y'all don't even know. We used to have to eat pussy with a candle and a treasure map. You're an old fuck. You remember blowing on it to try and find the seam? <laughs> fuck yeah, me too. You're an old dude too. You're bald as shit. Look at that old fucking grandpa over there. Sir, what would you have done if you put your hand down a pair of girls' panties back in the day and you felt a smooth, clean shaved pussy meat down there? Your head would have fucking blown up, wouldn't it? <laughs> You'd be like, what? Two belly buttons? That's weird. <laughs> right? We don't know. We were big time finger bangers though back in the day, weren't we boys? Fuck yes, you know what I'm talking about. Look at those swollen arthritic knuckles on that old motherfucker. That's a finger banging son of a bitch. We had moves, you girls don't even know. You're little jainers, you're sitting on a fucking dragon. You don't even know it. We fucking, we had old school E.T., cops and robbers, shotgun, Chinese finger torture, cigarette machine. Look for change in the payphone. That was our moves. All right, you gotta get that nickel. You gotta get that nickel. Oh, it's in there somewhere. And if our hand cramped up, we didn't quit. Carpal tunnel wasn't even invented then, you little faggot. You know what I'm saying? If our hand cramped up, we switched to an inverted Fonzie and used our shoulder, didn't we, sir? Fuck yes, we did. And we all finger banged left-handed. Fuck yes, we did. That way the next day we could smell our fingers and beat off. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody did that. 
your dad. Yeah. Every guy did that. That's where the term lefty, loosey, righty, tighty came from. My name is Ralphie May. You've been absolutely goddamn phenomenal.